CSS profile and what you need to know. Hi everyone, I'm Tina Steele, the FAFSA guru, and if you like what I have to say, be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the link below. Okay, so let's talk about the CSS profile. The CSS profile is a supplemental financial aid form put out by the College Board that some colleges require in order to determine how much institutional need-based scholarship money to award. There are over 300 colleges and universities across the United States that require the CSS profile. This form is much more in depth than the FAFSA to complete. And unlike the FAFSA, there are no assets that are protected on the profile. Colleges are determining how much need-based institutional scholarship money to award, so they want a very accurate picture of a family's financial situation. I often come across families who are not aware of this form and have never heard of it. And I can't tell you how many families I've worked with who have actually missed filling it out by the college deadline, which means they missed out on a whole pool of institutional scholarship money they could have otherwise been eligible for. The CSS profile is different than the FAFSA in that, as I mentioned before, no assets are protected. And it also requires families to estimate their projected next year income on top of last year's income. It's much more tedious to fill out and it is not free like the FAFSA. It costs $25 to submit to the first college and then an additional $16 for each college that it's submitted to after that. Now in most cases students and families only need to fill out one CSS profile to get awarded institutional scholarship money for all four years. However this can vary from college to college so it's important to check college guidelines around this. Another big difference between the CSS profile and the FAFSA is that if you're divorced or separated, both parents still need to fill it out. There's a custodial CSS profile and a non-custodial profile. Again, the college is trying to get a very accurate picture of a family's whole financial situation in order to determine how much of this free institutional scholarship money to award. Just like the FAFSA, the CSS profile opens up for completion on October 1st and you fill it out through the College Board website. Students would log in with the same ID they created to take their SATs. And then parents need to also create their own parent ID in order to complete their portion of the CSS profile. You can do a simple Google search for colleges that require the CSS profile to find out whether or not the colleges you are applying to require it. Sometimes families come to me saying, well, I earn too much money, so it's not worth filling out the CSS profile. But I always encourage them to do so. Parameters around awarding free institutional scholarship money are different than when families fill out the FAFSA and qualify for free grant money. I've seen families who earn up over $100,000 a year qualify for institutional need-based scholarship money. Another thing to note about the CSS profile, there is an area on it called special circumstances where you can relay any information to the financial aid office you would like them to know. This would be where you might share information with them regarding a reduction in income over the last year, or maybe you're caring for some elderly parents, or maybe have significant medical or dental expenses, or there's some financial situation going on with you that's not accurately reflected on the FAFSA or CSS profile. The only thing they typically won't take into consideration as a special circumstance would be debt. Once you fill out and submit the CSS profile to all of the colleges, an important next step is logging back into what's called your iDoc dashboard. All the colleges are going to require supplemental information from you, such as copies of your taxes. There's no way to link your taxes when filling out the CSS profile like there is when you fill out the FAFSA form. So it's important that you follow through with the iDoc dashboard because not submitting this information to the colleges will prevent you from getting your financial aid offer. So again, the CSS profile is in place for colleges to use to determine how much of their institutional need-based scholarship money they are going to award the student. Check your college for CSS profile deadlines and don't miss it. You do not want to miss out on this institutional scholarship money. I hope this helps. And to learn more about the programs and services that I provide, visit my website, thefafsaguru.com. I offer a free initial 10-minute consult call for anybody to answer any general financial aid questions they have or questions they might have about the programs and services that I provide. And lastly, if you're the parent of a current high school senior, check out my FAFSA and Financial Aid Academy. I run this program every single year from September through May to help families navigate the overwhelming and confusing financial aid process and maximize their financial aid offers. And I typically keep enrollment open through November since that's when a lot of families find me as they begin searching for information about financial aid. Thanks so much for watching.